Hey, how's it going? Jared from Tentmart up in Townsville, and today I'm going to be talking to you about solar panels. Uh, more importantly, the Dometic 120 watt solar panel. Now, this little solar panel is only 54 by 81 by 7 centimeters, so it compacts down really nicely in the included carry bag. Um, it has a really nice carry handle and also a shoulder strap to help make it easy to carry around everywhere. Um, now, taking it out of the bag is the simple step unzipping the zip. The panel itself has a nice solid handle on it. So you're not going to be worried about dropping it. And then simply undoing the clips on the top, like so, folding it out, and then undoing the legs, and then putting the extra support straps into the legs. So when it comes down to talking about solar cell types or solar cell materials, there are typically three main types of materials these days. Firstly is your monocrystalline silicon, which is in the Dometic 120 in front of me. You can have a polycrystalline silicon and you can also have an amorphous silicon. Now the biggest difference between these is actually their production method and their production cost. In the monocrystalline silicon, they are quite difficult to make and therefore their production cost is quite high. However, in saying that, their efficiency in their terms of their energy output is also quite high. Now, polycrystalline are actually a lot easier to make. They are also a lot more cost effective. But in saying that, they do have a reduction in their efficiency of their energy output. Amorphous silicon are really, really good because they can be made a lot thinner than polycrystalline and monocrystalline. However, because they are thinner, you typically don't get as many on a solar panel and therefore the energy efficiency isn't quite as high output as the previous two. Now, for this Dometic 120 watt solar panel, the peak power output is actually 6.63 amps per hour. Now that's really good for a 120 watt solar panel. When you're talking about peak power output, you're not gonna typically see that number too many times. That's typically what happens when you get the most ideal conditions. You get this nice sunny day like we have here today, and you don't have anything else obstructing it like clouds or anything else like dust even covering over the solar panel will highly reduce the amount of output that you will actually get. Another thing that largely impacts the efficiency of a solar panel is actually the angle that you have it set up on. So right now we have this one set up at about a 45 degree angle. That's typically what you want from a solar panel to get the most ideal position relative to the sun. Now these Dometic panels have four adjustability settings on their feet so that as the sun moves across you during the day, you can actually lower the solar panel, keep it most perpendicular to the sun as you can, obviously increasing your efficiency as you go. Now the Dometic 120 watt solar panel comes with a built-in 12 volt 10 amp heavy duty solar controller. Now the purpose of this controller is to give your battery as much power as it possibly can without overcharging it. Now this solar controller is actually IP65 rated so it's nice and weatherproof and it's also got a battery temperature sensor so you're not going to overheat your battery as you charge it. Once we connect the Anderson plug to the solar panel, some of the lights on the solar controller are going to start to light up. As we can see, the battery percentage lights are flickering. This indicates that the Anderson plug is plugged into the solar panel, but is not yet plugged into any sort of battery source. So once we plug it into our battery, then what we're going to see is the power output light light up. And also, the battery percentage indicator lights steady to tell you how full your battery currently is. So with our battery, we know that it's 75% full, and it's just trying to charge that last little bit up to 100%. The importance of the regulator is that once the battery reaches 100% is that it's going to cut out as to not overcharge our battery. Now on the other end of your 5 meter Anderson cord, all you have to do is simply plug it straight into your battery box or even your camper trailer. Now for people that don't have a battery box or a camper trailer, what Dometic have done is they've included this alligator adapter. Simply connect the Anderson plug together and then popping it on, you're positive and negative. Now, as you can see with it plugged in, our battery box is getting a nice 4 amps draw from the solar panel. So what will happen is obviously as the sun goes over, it's going to vary quite a lot with the clouds, with any sort of shade that comes across the solar panel. So typically with that 6.63 amps that we were talking about earlier, that's going to be your absolute peak current that you're going to get from the most ideal conditions. So for 4 o'clock in the afternoon here in Townsville, getting four, roughly 4 amps from the solar panel is actually really good for this type of day. So now that our battery's at 100%, you can see that the regulator has actually cut off the supply of the power from the panel to the battery, as our net amperage goes down to zero. What it will do every now and then, it will give us a little bit of trickle feed from the solar panel to the battery, just to top it up every now and then. But in doing this, it trickles it as much as it needs, rather than overcharging it with the full supply of power from the solar panel.
So the pack down process is obviously quite simple. It's very similar to the setup process, just in reverse. So first of all, disconnect your leads. Second step, simply put your feet up, back into position. Simply folding it in half. Don't forget to put your clips back into place. And then, putting it in the bag. Now this bag is nice and roomy, so you're not gonna be worried about having to squish it in there too much. On the front, we also have a nice pocket to put your leads in, so they don't get tangled up inside. Compacting down to a nice 14 kilos. This is a very, very portable and very affordable solar panel for your next camping or touring needs. If you want to find out some more information, pop into one of our wonderful 14 locations or jump online at tentworld.com.au.